Websites generally need to serve additional files such as images, JavaScript, or CSS. In Django, we refer to these files as static files. Okay, so in this video, we will understand how to configure and serve these static files in Django. Okay, so let's consider the use case. We want to serve an image and an external CSS file in our website. Okay, so what we usually do is we create a CSS file and we upload the image and load it from the HTML template. Okay, so let's see this practically if that way works or not. First of all, let's upload or let's create a, a you know CSS file in our project. Okay, so we usually create the CSS or any static files inside project uh, you know project level directory inside here. Okay, so inside the my site we create one folder we call it as static. Okay, so after creating static, we put all the uh, CSS files and you know CSS and JavaScript and images inside the static, you know, static folder. So that's why we'll create another folder and call it as CSS. Okay. So inside the static folder, we have created CSS. And again, inside the static folder itself, we will create another a folder called images. Okay. I think we created images folder inside the CSS folder. So what I'll do is I will just open the file explorer. Okay, inside the my site folder, we have created static folder and we have created a CSS and this images should come out uh, of this CSS folder. Okay, so inside the static folder, we have two folders, CSS and images okay so if you want to create a javascript folder also you can create over here all right so for the example we'll only create uh, css and uh, images uh, anyways so now uh, here uh, we have folder css and images right so inside this images folder i will add one sample image okay so inside the images folder i have uh, added one uh, image uh, django.png okay so this is a test image and the same way inside the CSS folder, I'll create one file and name it as style.css. Style.css. So this will be our, uh, you know, uh, external sh uh, style sheet. So here, what I'll do, I will actually say body. So this is the CSS. I'll simply say background color equal to blue. Okay. So then what we do we we should actually uh, link this style.css inside the home.html right so we'll quickly do that uh, using link tag okay, link style sheet and we say css forward slash style.css okay all right, so at this point, we can refresh the page and see if that is working. Of course, it will not work. Uh, you refresh the page, it will not work. Okay, if it is working, then this uh, the whole page should become blue, right? So that is not happening. Let's see what is wrong with that. View page source. And if you see here, we have included this style.css, right? Let's click on this uh, style.css. And here you can see, at this path, uh, we have page not found. Okay, uh, that means Django is telling us that this style.css does not exist. So in Django, uh, we have a special configuration to serve these static files. Okay, so currently you're seeing error for this style.css. And even if you put the image that you uploaded here, right? So if you put this image inside the uh, inside the uh, img tag let's quickly do that images forward slash uh, django dot png if you put this like this then also it will not work okay it will not work view page source and here you can see image source 
this is actually printing but uh, this is not loading anything right so that's why in django we have a special configuration to serve the uh, static files okay so they are like uh, uh, if you go to this uh, settings.py we have something called static url right we have something called static url and we should also set up the static root static underscore root a okay, static root is equal to base underscore dir base directory with the, the static folder okay so this is actually the static uh, static root i'll tell you why we are using this static url static root and uh, uh, we have another one uh, is called uh, static files static files dirs dirs this is actually a list of folders okay so here what you can do uh, you can actually uh, you know you should actually uh, put the path of this uh, static folder okay put the path of this static folder uh, which is uh, my site forward slash static okay so let's see so once we are done with this configuration okay and uh, make sure uh, the spellings are not wrong okay so these spellings must be uh, you know static files underscore dirs okay if you make mistakes your static file will not work all right so once this is done the then next step is to go to the uh, html pages where you are loading the static uh, files okay so on top of the html file you should actually load the static okay should actually load static inside this curly braces and percentage okay and once once this is done the next step is to go to this href wherever uh, you know wherever you're using uh css file right so simply cut this okay simply cut this we will have to load it from the static okay from this folder so that's why what you have to do you have to say static space single quotation and paste it okay open the curly braces percentage right and then static and then this css uh, forward slash style dot css or whatever the path there is you just have to put it here all right now save this file and refresh you can see static file is working that means the css code is working right so that's why this page has become blue all right now let's uh, uh, let's see uh, how we can load images okay this image is also a static file right simply cut this and open close you know uh, uh, curly braces percentage percentage and then load this static and then single quotation put the image path okay so here i will simply add width okay so width will be 400 or something all right refresh okay uh, you see this uh, um, image is working okay now let me tell you why we are using this uh, static url static root and static files directory okay so this uh, static url is nothing but this url let me show you that if you right click on this image open in new tab you can see this static path is being appended to this uh, image path right so static url is the url which will serve those static files okay so that's why we use uh, the static url and then this uh, static root okay so static root uh, maybe you'll not understand if i tell you right now but uh, uh, but still i'll tell you so we have one command called collect static okay so this command what this command will do is it will actually collect all the static files inside the static folder which is inside the my site folder okay it will collect everything and put the put it inside the root directory okay so this will be for deployment purpose okay so even if you don't understand what i'm telling you about this static root don't worry okay so this is a little bit advanced stuff 
uh, you will understand when we deploy the site all right so that's about the static route okay so it is actually for uh, you know it is used after the site has been deployed on the server so this uh, static files directory is the list of folders where django will search for additional static files when you run python manage.py run server command okay so this simply means that whenever you run uh, python manage dot run server command uh, django will look for the static files uh, which is inside these directories okay so if you want to put another directory here uh, next static folder next static folder then this uh, django will look for static files inside these folders okay so whatever folders you have uh, included inside this static files directories okay so that's uh, that's how it is all right so i hope uh, it is clear till now all right so anyhow if you don't understand what exactly is static files and why we are creating uh, these many uh, configuration then you can just feel free to create a question on q a section okay so i'll i'll be happy to uh, give you the solution or uh, if you want more clarification i'll give you okay so yeah so that's it for this video and uh, in the next one we will uh, will create apps all right thank you